So example number two, expand sine x plus h using Taylor series up to the term h cube. Hence, find sine 30 degrees, 21 minutes, correct to five decimal places, isn't it? So the first thing, before you expand sine x plus h, it means you are expanding a function x plus h, isn't it? Are we together? So we said you go to your logarithm f of x plus h to be equals to f of x to be equals to f of a. So what do you want to expand? f of x plus h, meaning you take this part, isn't it? So it means when you expand f of x plus h, you start from f of f of x, isn't it? So it means here we are going to start from f of x, you leave some space, then it is plus, you differentiate it for the first time, you leave some space, then it is plus, you differentiate it for the second time, you leave some space, then it is plus, you differentiate it for the third time. Remember for you to get up to the time h raised to power 3, you must have the third derivative, isn't it? So you start, when f is raised to power 1, then it means you have h raised to power 1 over 1 factorial, isn't it? Yes. Are we together? Mm -hmm. When f is differentiated for the second time 2, it means h is raised to power 2 over 2 factorial. This is not quite it's the first derivative, isn't it? Yes. But we can pronounce it the way we like. When it is differentiated for the third time, it means we have h raised to power 3 over 3. Factorial. So have you seen, you found the Taylor series expansion of the function x plus h. After that, you now want to expand what? What is your function f of x plus h? Your function x plus h, you've been told it is in x plus You've been told it is in x plus what? In x plus h. Isn't it? Okay. So if h is not there, if h is not there, it means <laughs> f of x is in x if h is zero. So it means f of x is equal to sin x. Yeah. Are we together? Because we need f of x, we need f prime of x, we need f double prime of x, we need f triple prime of x, isn't it? Yeah. So you see, we've already found f of x to be sin x. So we differentiate f of x for the first time to get f prime of x, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you differentiate sin x, what do you get? Cos x. If you differentiate in a function x, you just get one. Yes. You just remain as cos x. Yes. You move on. If you differentiate it for the second time, if you differentiate cos x, you get negative. Yes. If you differentiate the inner function x, you just get one. Yes. So you just remain with negative sign x. Yes. Then you go. If you differentiate it for the third time, we have negative. If you differentiate sin x, what do you get? C cos x, differentiating sin x, negative is outside, you factor is outside, isn't it? See, if you differentiate sin x, you just get cos x. Yes. See, we now remain with negative cos x. Yes. See, we've now found everything. See, we found f of x, we found f prime of x, we found f double prime of x, we found f triple prime of x, isn't it? Yes. Are we together? Yes. See, the next thing we do, we just substitute. So, the next thing we do, we just substitute. We just substitute. So, we have our f of x plus h, which is what? f of x plus h, where this f of x plus h we put its value is what? Sine? It is sine x plus h, isn't it? To be equals to f of x you found to be? Sine x. Are we together? Then go on. Plus f prime of x you found to be? So it is plus cos x over 1 factorial. So 1 factorial is just 1. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then times h raised to power 1. See, that's just h. Yeah. So you see what you have in short. It is just h power 1 over 1 factorial is just h. Then times cos x, f prime of x, isn't it? Yeah. Move to the next one. f double prime of x bound is negative. Sin x. Negative sin x, isn't it? Yeah. Then here you have h squared over 2 factorial, isn't it? So h squared over negative sin x will be negative negative h squared over 2 sin x because 2 factorial is 2 so it is h squared over 2 are you seeing we are getting rid of the factorial mm -hmm. then you are f double prime of x is negative sin x so you simplify that isn't it you move on you are f triple prime of x you found to be what negative cos x isn't it yeah. then here you have h cube over 3 factorial 3 factorial is 6 isn't it yeah. so it means you have negative h cube over 6 cos Cos x because f triple prime of x is negative cos x, then f three factorial is six. So you simplify the whole thing. Are we together? Yes. So have you seen we've expanded sin x plus h 
up to the function of up to the the term in H Q. Are we together? Yes. Then now they want us to use it. Let us now write it up here because we want to use it. Okay. Yes. We found the expansion of sin x plus h to be sin x plus h cos x minus h squared over 2 sin x minus h raised to power 3 over 6 cos x, isn't it? You want to use it to solve what? To solve sin sin 30 degrees 21 minutes so you know 1 minute is 60 degrees isn't it? so if 1 minute you know 60 minutes is 1 degrees isn't it? so 21 minutes will be what? will be 1 degrees times 21 minutes over 60 minutes you get 0 0.35 degrees. degrees meaning here you will have sin 30.35 degrees. Are we together? You will have seen 30.35 degrees. And remember, you cannot use degrees here. Why? Because if you use degrees, sine sin of this x will be in degrees, but now h will remain in pi radians. Are you seeing? So it means anytime you are working with the power series, everything must be in pi radians. Are you seeing that? Because we are going to have h squared, for instance here, h times cos x. Remember, look at this. When you are looking for cos 30 degrees, you will get the answer to be 0 0.866, isn't it? That one, when you set your calculator in your D, are you seeing that? And when you are looking for cos, cos pi over 6, you will still get the answer to be 0 0.866 when the calculator is set in R, isn't it? So it means whether you set the calculator in R or D, depending on what you are looking for, the final answer will always be in pi radians. Are you seeing that? Yes. Are we together? The final answer will always be in pi radians, meaning these values of cos x in x, cos x will be in pi radians. So it means these values of h must also be in pi radians. Are you seeing that? So you cannot work with the degrees. That degrees must be converted into pi. Are we together? Yes. So if you want to approximate this, remember, we have the expansion for x plus a. So here we have sine, if you let x to be 30 degrees, then plus a to be 0 0.3 degrees. Are you seeing you separated there? Mm. So your x is 30 degrees, your a is 0 0.35 degrees but you can never work with the degree so it is like you will be getting 0 0.35 degrees times this answer which is in pi radians so you get the relevant thing it's like you are saying one centimeters maybe times 10 minutes you are telling us that is 10 centimeters meter <laughs> are you seeing some kind of things <laughs> meaning everything must be in one unit isn't it yes. so to ensure everything is one unit meaning all of them must be in pi radians isn't it yes. So, can you change this in pi radians? You know pi is 180 degrees, isn't it? Yeah. So you start, this will be equal to what? Sine, what is 30 degrees? So you say, if pi is 180 degrees, therefore 30 degrees is what? So it is 30 pi over 180. Yeah. Are you seeing? Which you get is the same as pi over? Six. Pi over 6. Are we together? Then it is plus, what is 0 0.35 into pi radians? Remember pi over 6, you can remove pi by putting the value of pi, which is 3.4, something, divided by 6, isn't it? Then you are at 0 0.35 degrees is what? You know 180 degrees is pi. Remember it is 360, which is 2 pi, whole circulation, isn't it? 180 is pi, therefore 0 0.35 degrees will be what? So it is 0 0.35 times pi. 0 0.35 pi over 180. What do you get? Can you just get a value and substitute the value of that pi? So that we just work when that pi is not there for h, isn't it? Are we together? Because we are going to substitute the value of h, meaning we can get rid of this pi. Here there is no need of getting rid of this pi. We are, because we are going to get cos and sin on that x, isn't it? See, there is no need of getting rid of pi here. Yes. But here, 0 0.35 pi over 180 degrees. See, you can get rid of pi there because we are going to look for the edge. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So press in the calculator 0 0.35 pi over 180, what do you get? You get? Zero point zero? Zero zero six. One. One. Zero. One zero eight. Are we together? 
If we maintain the five decimal places, the one, one, two, three, four, five, it will be 0 0.00611, isn't it? So have you seen from here? What do you see from here? From there, you can now get the value of, remember, you have sine x plus h. You found it is, it is sine here, look here, sine x plus h. What have you found it to be? It means what is your x? Pi over, because x is pi over 6, isn't it? See this x plus h, mm -hmm. meaning this first value here is x, isn't it? Then the second value here is h, isn't it? See that is x plus h. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Uh, so your x is pi over 6 and your h is what? 0 0.00611. So you found sine x plus h. Your x is pi over 6, your h is? 0 0.00611 Everything must be in pi radians, isn't it? So if you look at our equation expansion of sine x plus h Meaning we are going to look for sine x and cos x, isn't it? So what is sine x? Come here and get me sine x What is sine x? Our x is pi over So what is sine pi over 6? My friend, pi over 6 is pi radians So I expect your calculator to be in R, not D 0.5. I expect we're going to be in R because pi over 6 is pi radians. R, ah, isn't it? Are we together? So that is 0. Point. Then you get what is cos pi over 6 because we are also going to look for cos x, isn't it? Are we together? Cos pi over 6 is 0. 0.8 6, 6, isn't it? Are we together? So from there, now come back. What is now sine 30 degrees 21 minutes? Sine 30 degrees 21 minutes is what we found to be sine pi over 6 plus 0 0.0061, isn't it? Are we together? Meaning, where there is x, where there is x, we put the value of x, which is pi over 6. Where there is h, we put the value of h, which is 0 0.00611. So, because those h values are long, you can let h to be answer, isn't it? So, you just leave h here to be h the way it is, h is equal to this. So, you go, you are seeing that degrees 21 minutes will be what? Will be sin x, sin pi over sin pi over 6. Are we together? Then it is plus, plus h, look, it is plus h, cos, it is this h we want to substitute, so what is h? You let h to be answer, isn't it? Or let us just move on, it is h cos, cos pi over 6, then it is plus, minus, minus h squared over 2, sine pi over 6, because our x, where there is x, we are putting pi over 6, isn't it? Then you move on, minus, pi cubed over 6 cos minus h cubed over 6 I mean cos pi over 6 then you say then in the next step you say h is equal to see h is equal to what? 0 0.00611 so this your h becomes the answer isn't it? so you start 0 0.00611 is equal to what? it becomes the answer then in the end when you let it to be answer it means in the end you assign you assign 30 degrees 21 minutes will be what? it will be sin pi over 6 plus answer cos pi over 6 minus answer squared over 2 sin pi over 6 minus minus what? answer cubed over 6 are you seeing that? It is minus answer cube. We leave it here. Answer cubed over 6 times what? Cos pi over 6. So, what do you get to be the answer? The rule of that in the calculator. So, you will get sin 30 degrees 21 minutes to be what? If you press the rule of that in the calculator, what do you get? Sin 30 degrees 21 minutes, you found it to be? What have you found it to be? You just substitute. Where there is H, you substitute the value of H in the calculator. This one goes until the end. Are we together? What do you get? It is very simple. What I have here, H is 0 0.00611 is equal to that. You found the answer.
Mm. What have you found? 0 0.5052. 0 0.5052. 0. 0. 0.5052. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. 5 just like that. Mm -hmm. You do five decimal places. Zero. Five zero. Five two eight. Five two eight. Five two eight. You were told five decimal places. It is zero point five zero five two eight. Meaning where there is edge, you put the value of edge, which is zero point zero zero six one one, isn't it? Where there is x, you put the value of x, which is pi over six. This last part here as of a straight and cannot write over there, isn't it? Good. So that is how to solve that given problem.